Welcome to Connect US demo session. This is a screen actually looking, and your outlets and registers will be there. On the top right side, there are two buttons, Look Down and Manage. After clicking on Manage, a window will show up. You can set up your outlet register, reset, text, discount, as well as hardware connection and many more over here. With outlet and register, you can create new outlet or edit existing one by clicking on the outlet name. After selecting the outlet, you can see the outlet information and options. For example, the outlet status, the customer and text options. Scroll down, we can set the address, currency, receipt template, or you can assign the cashier for the outlet. Over here, there's a add register button, and if you have some existing register, you can click on it. So you have some other options, for example, to activate or deactivate your register, or the option to always print receipt add to sale or not. And to set up everything, we can save the outlet. After completing outlet settings, click on register and sales screen will appear. On the left hand side, there are your product category and on the top right hand side, your customer database can be seen here. For example, grids, go to the store and want to buy some products. This one and a kit can sell in Australia. Pick the size and add to cart. After that, you can click pay. Choose payment method. Confirm. Then complete. A receipt will be printed out after this uh, step. All your orders can be seen in your order list. With order list, you can easily filter all orders from online and other outlets as well. You can find an order by search the customer name or the order ID. After selecting an order, order information can be seen here with order status. Some options are sales split, duplicate, send invoice, or refund and exchange. To refund, click here. It will be forwarded back to the sales screen with amount to return. To exchange order, choose the item the customer picked and proceed as a normal sale. After that, you can check back to the order rates. Your order is successfully refunded and a new order is created as an exchange one. About the receipt, there are many options for you to choose what to be seen on your receipt. Definitely, it's going to be your choice. For the tax system, if you have an e-commerce platform, you will see the tax is set for your website over here. Or, you can always click on this new tax button to create a new one. These guys are easy to set up for your in-store business. Any options like how to apply, types of discount, conditions, etc. And a good start and end date for your promotion. Now, after a working day, cashier wants to close the shift. Go to menu. Shift, then click on opening button. 
The system will calculate how much money you make in a day and total expected cash in drawer. Click on close here. Fill in the amount of money. Encounter column. Note if needed and total cash out the takeout vote. Then submit. You can see all the ships and check it any time that you want after selecting a ship. On the top right side, click on three dot button, print. A Z report will be printed out from your receipt printer with all the activity in that ship. Now it's time to have a visit to our report side where you can see all the statistics from revenue, tax, that revenue, number of orders, and many more. You can also choose a specific time frame, whether to show, in store, online, or both of them. All reports can be exported back to an editor file. If you click on View Detail, there are some more reports like revenue by Outlet by seller by cashier category or a total sale report over here. Move to Motisol's inventory. After logging in, you can get access to the inventory management system. For our product, you can see all product. Create new one manually with this button or import CFV file to either create new products or update existing ones. A CFV template can be downloaded just by clicking on this field. Category are synchronized with your e-commerce platform. Click on this uh, create button if you want to create another category. About warehouse, you can easily create warehouses over here and assign to the respective outlet or use stock mapping to link them to your e commerce platform. In inventory, you can manage your inventory by choosing the warehouse. Then add or set the quantity. A much easier way is using the CFV file. Both export and import buttons are available here. A CFV template can also be downloaded over here. Low stock is a place for you to check all items with available quantity lower than safety threshold. There's also a setting which allows a list of low stock items to be sent back to your email address every single day. With transfer stock, you can make requests to transfer some product quantities from a warehouse to another. Inventory will be updated accordingly after completing the request. You just need to click on the create button here to make a request, then choosing the origin warehouse, destination warehouse, import the product file with quantity, or search for them manually over here. Stock tax is a feature that lets you make requests to get quantities of all items or in some specific categories. Click on create, set stock tax name, choose warehouse, then import the file, or click on add all product, or choose category.
that it can save. The stop tag. After that, when you are ready, you can click on start count. Now you can use your barcode scanner or you can manually count all your items in stock. And the result can be seen over here. But in case some items with counted quantity lower than expected quantity. When you click on review, you will see the difference. And this is when you have to have a look at it and do some investigation on this difference. When everything is done, click on complete and then the system will override the inventory automatically. Partnered. This is where you can manage customers and suppliers. For customer, click on create button or import CLV file. To save new buyers information, create new customer groups and add customers into respective one. Create suppliers and supplier types are quite similar to customers, but the purpose is definitely different. Once we have some suppliers, we can use purchase orders feature. Here you can check all purchase orders or make new one by clicking on create button on the top right side. Then choose the supplier and proceed as normal from import product, quantity, the codes, shipping information, and more. After completing the purchase order, inventory will also be updated accordingly. Sales orders. With the sales orders feature, you can manage your orders easily both from your web store and connect your ads. After selecting an order, click on Edit Fulfillment. If you want to choose Fulfillment Warehouse, other options are Quickly Fulfill All, Create uh, Purchase Orders, Manufacture Orders, or Cancel Order, or Refund. Move to analytics. We have inventory summary and inventory valuation. Inventory summary lets you choose tampering, warehouse, and show summary of all inventory change during that period of time. Export to Excel uh, file by clicking on this button. Inventory valuation. Let you choose warehouse and calculate inventory valuation, potential revenue, potential profit margin. This will be very helpful for you to make business plan and a promotion campaign.